Hello and welcome to Queen Substance Tarot. We have another unboxing for you today. And this time it's the Santa Muerte deck. And this is by Fabio Lestrani. It's a 78 card deck with a guidebook. And I've been really excited to review this. I have done the Oracle cards already and they were awesome. They actually come with um, well the cards are designed so that when you flip them over to the back it forms a Ouija board which was a really cool surprise now as for this deck this is the typical tarot deck I don't know if there are any surprises but let's get into it and see what we're working with here I like the box it's really sturdy looks like it's gonna slide right up like that pretty cool I gotta say that's the first time I'm seeing that type of box okay. and we have the guidebook here awesome artwork on the cover oh and it's color on the inside So we have an English, Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and I'm not sure how to pronounce the second to last one there. Okay. So it goes through the major and minor arcana. See if there are spreads here. Okay. We have the Ouija Oracle of the Dead. What's that spread there? Hopefully you can see that. There we go. A little better. We have a card of the day, and then we move into different languages. And again, the artwork is just phenomenal. Tijeras. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Next, we're going to get into deck. This is about the same size as the Light Seer's Tarot. Good size for handling, especially for readers or collectors with smaller hands. I do like that they come in plastic, especially with the times we're in right now. The back of the card. And we're starting with the suit of swords. This artwork is great. I'm really looking forward to working with this deck. Oh, look at that. So I'll skip through a few of them. Three of Swords. Okay, 
King of... Oh, that's wands. Ace of Swords. That's what I was looking for. That's beautiful. And then we have the Suit of Wands. of Wands, Victory. I gotta say, this is the perfect deck for Halloween. Ooh. I love when artwork just grabs you. Here we have the pentacles. I'm skipping a bit. Wow. And then we get to the cups. Oh, look at that. And I must say, the cardstock is sturdy, but not too bendy. There's some flex to it. I like that a lot. And the finish is kind of like a semi gloss. Here we go, the Ace of Cups. Okay, now we'll go through the Major Arcana, the World, Judgment, Sun, Moon, Star, Tower, oh wow that tower card, it's like a little mind flip there, I like it. The Devil, look at that. Santa Muerte. So it is a little different than the traditional tarot, but no major differences. The Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, the Hermit in the Coffin, that's great, Strength. This reminds me of the Oracle deck. I see a lot of the same imagery, which is nice. You like for it to flow. The lovers, 
I really like this one. Well, for obvious reasons, but the artwork is stunning. Then we have the Hierophant and the Emperor, the Empress, the High Priestess, the Magician, the Fool, And it's actually an extra card. Okay, we'll put that back in here. Okay, let's see how this deck shuffles. Again, super easy for smaller hands to work with. These are definitely thicker than... what I thought they would be. Like you can feel it when you shuffle. And it could just be because it's new and the cards are still a little stiff. really like this deck. The artwork is stunning. The card stock is great. You can tell it's going to hold up for a while. I would definitely purchase these cards again. And it comes with a beautifully illustrated book. And let's pull a card. Knight of Pentacles. see what they say about the Knight of Pentacles in the guidebook. Bear with me a moment. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how this book is laid out. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles brings with him a rapid and dynamic gain, such as an assured booty. He's a resistant and persevering worker, very practical, and takes initiative. He can also easily be egocentric and unconcerned about his own or other people's feelings as long as he can achieve his own interests. He can also be caught between laziness and indifference. The advice from the dead, do not let a good occasion escape when it is in front of you. Take a risk even if it's your heart that is pushing you in that direction. Awesome. Well, that is the review for the Queen For the Santa Muerte deck. And thank you for watching and subscribing. See you next time.